pretty high goaltender tonight. Yeah, yeah, he, he played really well. Um, you know, I thought we played pretty well. It's it's, it's, it's always hard when you, you always want to win, but there's those games where you feel like you played well and, and uh, didn't complete the job. It was good that we came back and tied it. Um, but, you know, it was, uh, it was a frustrating tie. About halfway through the second period, you guys had like 30 shots on goal at that point. You only got two the, like over the last nine minutes of that period and seemed to kind of hit a lull there. Uh, what did they do or did you guys just kind of lose your momentum at that point and then also to kind of kick it back in gear in that third period? Well, you know, it's you got to give them credit too. I mean, they play a very patient game. They wait for you to make mistakes and then they've got the guys that can capitalize and that's their game. You know, and I thought that uh, there was a period there that we uh, that we got into a little bit of a lull. But, you know, the, the positive thing is we picked it back up and that's all I can ask for. How do you think you guys did limiting your mistakes? You know, the only the only thing the only thing that um, that hurt us and it was the first goal. I mean, was turning pucks over not so much off the rush, but in the offensive zone. Um, you know, they do a good job of sealing the wall, and you know, if, if you make you try to make a pass through it, they pick it off and then they transition from it. So, you know, I think that that was the one area that I thought that we we turned over a few too many pucks, and it wasn't. You know, normally I'm complaining about, you know, pucks at the offensive blue line, but this was more from a cycle, more from the offensive zone. It seems like it's becoming a regular thing, but Jack Jenkins just seems to make those plays for you guys on a regular basis. He uh, somehow missed on that power play in the third period, but then he kept with it and found Joe on the other side of the net. And just his tenacity, what does he bring to you guys? Well, you said the magic word, tenacity. I mean, he... Um... Yeah, you know, I, I like him and Cal Burke together because they both play with a high energy level. And um, you know, we tried Felix, you know, who who had been sick for a long period of time with mono. You know, we've tried him back in the lineup with that with those two guys, and I thought he played well with them. You know, he's a very smart player, and you know, Jack and and Cal both are high energy guys. And you know, Jack was really good tonight. You know, I thought he did a good job in the penalty kill. You know, you know, just uh, you know, I thought he you know, moving him onto the power play, he did a good job there. Um, with Cal and, and Joe, you know, scoring that big goal to tie the game. So, you know, he's, uh, you know, he's back playing in the middle. He's probably happy about that too. So, but um, I was happy with that line tonight. I thought they did a nice job. Any update on Nardella and Hurley? Are they? No, Bobby's going to be extended. You know, Hurley's just my decision. What do you think the adjustment is for tomorrow? Do you have any ideas? Well, I, you know, frankly, I thought we played pretty well, so I don't think there has to be a major overhaul. I think we have to do a little bit better in the ozone with uh, with the pocket times, um, and you know, I think that you know, for the most part, we did we did a pretty good job defensively. Um, you know, I, it would have been nice. I, I guess that second goal was like a power play goal because it was only a couple seconds after the power play, but you know, I mean, you know, they had a power play goal, we didn't, and that you know, that's the difference in the game for us winning. But like I said, it was close to being our power play goal. It was our power play on the ice. Just to be clear, Nardell's is an injury and Hurley's is not an injury? No. You ran into a pretty tough goaltender tonight. Uh, yeah, I mean, we kind of accomplished everything we wanted to except putting the puck in the net. I mean, one of our objectives is we had 30 shots on net, and I think we had around 50 tonight. And, you know, things like that happen, but uh, I think we controlled what we could control and put pucks in the net, and hopefully we get a better result tomorrow. Do you feel like a lot of those were really solid chances on him too? You know, I think we actually did a pretty good job of getting guys in the net so that a lot of those shots were secondary shots. And uh, I think that's the way you got to score on a goalie like that. When he's playing well, the first one's not going to go in. It's going to be the rebound, so the second to third lax at it. Uh, take me through that goal, uh, tying goal in the third period. You guys are coming up the power play. Number one, how did you not score? Look, the puck was behind. Tironi there. I mean, did it roll on the goal line? What happened on that? Yeah, I, I don't really remember. I remember the play kind of started where uh, I think Tori or Andrew passed it down to me, and I tried to get it over to Jack, and then it was just kind of a scramble. And uh, like I said earlier, we just kept whacking and getting those second and third chances, and thankfully it went in. But uh, obviously not satisfied that we didn't get the win. So. And just uh, Jack's tenacity on that play, you know, not getting that goal right there on the power play, and it ends, and you guys kept it in the zone and. He eventually brings it around and finds you. Just his play and, and the ability to kind of keep that that whole series alive. 
Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, that's a big part of Jack's game is how uh, tenacious he is on the puck, how intense he is, and that's what kind of makes him go. He's got a great motor and he's got great vision, and I think uh, he's pretty uh, underrated in that aspect because uh, he's a really, really good player, and he can make plays like that. So it's fun playing with him. It felt like it started to get a little chippy in the second and third. Do you think that their physicality was throwing you guys off a little bit, or was it just more you guys just couldn't find the back of the net? I think it was more that we couldn't find the back of the net. I actually thought that we did a good job kind of staying out of the unnecessary stuff while, while still being physical and kind of taking it to them. I think that was a big emphasis this week as well, was kind of trying to put pucks behind them and put pressure on their D. And I thought that we actually did a pretty good job of that tonight. So what do you think the adjustment is for tomorrow? Uh, I don't think that we have to really change too much. I think there's a couple things we can tighten up, especially on our cycle game. But aside from that, I think the same idea of just getting more pucks and more bodies to the net. I mean, he played well tonight. We'll give him that. But I don't know if he can do it for two nights in a row. Hopefully we can uh, solve him. So. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, yeah. Thanks Joe. Absolutely.